I mean, I'll show you some, some basic movements that I use with all of the elite athletes, including everyone at Empire Elite to prepare to, to run. Basically, you know, some of the, the, the most important stretches is really, really the hamstring, which is just a, just a movement just like this with the rope, where I'm, again, active with the front of the leg. And you have a cadence, too. You're moving. With, with the rope. Yeah, the cadence, and I'm not I'm not holding the stretch for more than one, maybe two seconds tops. So I'm really working on the hamstring there, and I'm using the hip flexor, and really, so this is just a movement, right? This is just kinesthetic awareness in that area, and just pumping blood into it, getting the neural drive going. This everything about what I'm doing, it works as far as making the muscles work and getting the muscles and the tendons and tissue in the area to begin to work. And to begin to open up and really it's just like a warm-up you know people say oh warm up before you stretch well this is this is a warm-up this is moving the muscles this is preparing them to do whatever it is you want to do whether it be walking or 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 running or just to, just to feel good uh sitting at a desk all day so that's that would fantastic be a flexibility movement. tommy how old are you now i mean amazing i'm 55 i'm 55 yeah. now and i you know i do, this, I do the routine regularly so I'll show you an adductor, which is the, I'm going to stretch or move the inside. I'm going to move the leg, but I'm going to be trying to lengthen or, or uh, activate and, and, and uh, lengthen the inside of my adductors. So what I do is I wrap the rope around the inside of the leg and pull the rope to the outside. And I'll move up a little bit so you can get a better yeah, no, good view. feel of how that And, uh, you know, I'm just using the muscles on the outside, the abductors, to stretch or to lengthen the muscles on the inside, the adductors, the adductors on the inside. Okay, so I'm moving the leg out and I'm using the rope to gently assist as I come out, right? So I'm getting the abductors. Now, so the opposite of that, I'm going to take the rope, wrap it to the outside. The opposite of that would be stretch the outside of the abductors the glute medius, some of the piriformis, and some of these muscles on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is take that and bring that across the midline of my body. Now I'm stretching more the outside hip into the outside hamstring even, <clears throat> and then all the way up into the glute medius and minimus, which is really important for anybody who's walking or running or standing, but really just helps to isolate into that area on the outside, which for runners is critical. Um, just because we move, move so linearly, we're always moving straight. That's a great point, weight. Tommy. You're, you're getting another plane. So, All right, and yeah, then let's exactly. finish up with one more. What would be the, so, the one well, that the, the would other be... thing is the gluteus maximus, right? It's the, the okay. main driver. That's really simple to do, which you just bring the leg up with the knee bent, place your right hand, in this case, on the outside of your right knee, your left hand on your lower leg, and then just bring that knee towards your opposite shoulder. Oh yeah. So you get that right through there, right in that glute, and then release that, bring it up. Be a nice, slow, it doesn't need to be forced. It doesn't need to be jerky, just activating and reaching and then assisting with the hands. And so what you can do is try to keep those hips on the flat on the table or the floor, so that you're not rolling over and you losing the isolation. So if you turn that opposite leg in, the non-stretching leg in, it helps to isolate that a little bit more and bring that across your body. So you'll feel that in that boot, which is a really important muscle to activate and open up there. Tommy, so, this yeah, was I mean, fantastic because, you know, <laughs> as we age, there's so much collagen cross-link and it stiffens up. And you've given me some... Uh, inspiration to do a little bit more of that. I get on my bike in the morning and sometimes I'm just like touching my toes or doing uh, doing like a little trunkle stretch back and forth for, but this is really next level stuff. So I think everybody's yeah. gonna appreciate yeah. it. Parting words before we close this in, segment. If you're interested in seeing more of that, you can go to whartonhealth.com. They, they, Phil Wharton has a whole series of stretches you can download digitally and he has a book and you know, I learned it from those guys from the Whartons, Jim and Phil Wharton, and they, they, they still, Phil still gets the information out there. So if you're interested in more information, it's available on Wharton 
Health.com. Um, there's a website where you can, you know, you can look at a lot of that. So just, just as far as to get more information about that, that's available. 